Mostrum must know the ply, the steam band, the block and the stealth shell construction, but nobody really talks about the so-called true solid shells and I want to change it with this video. What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to this very special video. Today I'm talking about the so-called true solid shells. Now what are the true solid shells. Well, to make it very simple, a true solid shell, as the name says, is a piece of a shell that's made out of a massive wood. And that means there's no gluing involved, there's no plies involved, there's no blocks involved, there's no staves involved. It is just a massive piece of wood in a shell form. And only few manufacturers are making those shells. And those are Luca Percussion, Antonio Drums, Nicknam Drums, and a few other companies like Hammer Custom Drums and a few others as well. So what is it all about those true solid shells? I will tell you that right now. Let's begin with the work that is involved into making those shells. Now the work that is involved into making those shells is the most hardest work that a drum maker can do because the shell needs to be made of a massive piece of wood in the shell form and that needs a lot of research that I want to talk about right now. So as I have said it, the shell construction and the research and everything else needs to be done because Many, many plants and many, many trees have branches in the wood and that is what we don't need. We need a piece of wood that has no branches in it, that has the perfect quality and that is really, really, really rare. And for this reason, the research for the perfect piece of wood must be done because when there are brands or anything else in the shell, the sound cannot be good at all. So the because the vibrations of the shell are stopped by the brands and other stuff, so the makers of those true solid shells don't need that. What they need is a perfect piece of wood, a perfect shell because the vibration must be traveling through that shell. And the only thing that really stops the vibration of the shell is the hardware that you put on the shell. So that only stops the vibration of the shell. But how does a true solid shell sound like? So here is an example. That might be a cell phone recording, but we can hear that the sound is warm, that the sound is round that it has a lot of resonance, that we hear a very dominant ground tone, that we hear a lot of attack combined with this really powerful lows and resonance and the really great sound. And you don't really find that in other shell construction but that doesn't say that the ply shells or steam band shells or block shells or staff shells sound bad. They are really, really great.
great sounding shells with the other constructions but to have the perfect sound to have the perfect warm round tone combined with a really strong attack the true solid shells are the way that you can go and as i have said it the sound is absolutely incredible so which manufacturers are making those shells well the first manufacturer is luca percussion then we have antonio drums then we have hammer custom drums then we have lignum drums and some other manufacturers many manufacturers make only shells for snare drums but there are some also that are making complete drum sets out of those true solid shells and that is absolutely outstanding incredible and absolutely amazing and i also forgot canopus drums because canopus is known for the selkova snare but recently they have made also a complete set out of those selkova shells and those shells are really special because they are constructed a little bit different than the normal shell you can find on your drum set and they're constructed in the way that the shell is thicker in the middle than it is in the outside and it has also that kind of bow on the outside and the reason for that is the shell needs to be stable and Canopus has made that really well. The shell is really stable and for that reason you can tune it in a really wide range from really low to really high without thinking about that the shell will crack or that something else happens and that is really amazing. The Selkova snare drum is really a great piece of an art and also sounds incredible as we will hear it right now. This snare drum sounds really amazing. The problem with those shells is that they are the most expensive shells you can get for a drum set. For example, that uh, Selkova snare that I was talking about in the last minute or so costs here in Germany 1,500 euros which is really really expensive for a snare drum so you can only imagine what a complete set of drums will cost like now which woods can be used to make those sets well we have maple we have birch we have ash and we have also walnut and other woods as well that can be used to make those interesting sheds and 
there must be only wood that has a really large diameter. So the tree must have a really large diameter because you can't make out those shells out of a thin tree. So it must have at least a diameter of like 70 or 80 centimeters or at least 30 inch to make a true solid shell out of that tree because with small diameters you can only make stave construction or ply shell construction or block shell construction and even for the steam band construction you need relative large trees to make out a wooden plate that is heated up with steam to bend it into the shell because only small diameter trees can do that. They are only can be used for snare drums. But so at least for this construction, which also sounds really amazing, you need trees that have at least 20 inch diameter. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you like this video. So if you do, then I will encourage you to subscribe to my channel. So please, please, please click the subscribe button and also click the bell button so you don't miss any videos in the future. All right, that's it what I just wanted to say and I hope you liked it. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for your comments. Thanks for your likes. Thanks for your dislikes. And thanks for everything else. And we see us in the next video. Bye bye.